yeah. So actually, uh, I think your skin color, being a black man is an asset as you're backpacking because we're kind of an anomaly. So people don't see too many of us. And so for example, in Guatemala uh, and in a few of the other different countries, people don't expect to see you. So when they do see you, they enjoy talking to you, hearing about your experiences. And then also being black, a lot of times the negative stuff that happens with backpackers, I think a lot of times the predators, and I hate to say it, or, or I don't know if it's the right word is to hate to say it, but sadly, a lot of the backpackers that are attacked or robbed are typically Caucasian because they're, people expect them to have a lot more money, a lot more wealth, and they see them more as victims. Whereas traveling as a black man, I never really felt like that. I never really felt anybody tried to intimidate me, um, wanted to take my stuff, or even really thought about it. Um, so in terms of traveling, I think some of the fears that people have of black people kind of helps you. But then also in a lot of these regions, which I think a lot of people don't realize is there are a lot of black people in these countries. So when they see you traveling with a backpack or they see your black skin, they immediately imagine or think that you're from one of the black areas in their country and they don't even question it. They go, oh, you're from the coast or you're from the Caribbean side or you must be, when I was in Guatemala, they said, oh, okay, I don't think you're American, but they thought I was from Belize or they thought I was from Honduras. That happened more times than I can count. A few times people thought I was from the area of Livingston in Guatemala, which is heavily populated with black people. So really I was able to blend in because of my black skin, whereas some of the other backpackers who uh, I encountered and hung out with a little bit who were Caucasian or from Europe, they weren't able to blend in. They were automatically spotted out as, oh, that's the gringo, or did you see that gringo? Uh, so my experience has definitely been different. I've been able to move differently. I've been able to get on buses uh, and just travel amongst the people without people even looking twice at me. And especially when I don't speak, they automatically assume that if I'm not from their country, I'm from a neighboring country. They don't think I'm from the United States. All right. Why don't we see your blessing?